Hi YouTubers, welcome to Louis Kitchen. Today we are gonna make a brisket here, um, also known as Tiger Cry, and some sticky rice, and some JLB. Um, the JLB will be, um, um, ingredients will be within the video. So first, um, we have a six pound brisket. Um, I am going to season it with salt and pepper. And be very generous with the salt. Pepper. We're going to take this. So what we have here is um, sweet rice. Um, you can find this at the Asian market. I am going to use about, um, this holds about four cups. I'm gonna pour this in here. Usually I don't measure, but for you guys, I'll go ahead and measure it out. So this is about four cups. It's good enough for at least three people, three, four people. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make another two more, so a total of six cups, because we might have some visitors. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take this to the sink, rinse it out maybe five, six times, and then um, soak it for at least a few hours before we cook it. Um, usually I do this overnight, um, but today we're going to soak it for a few hours while the brisket's um, cooking. We're going to make um, a dipping sauce called JLB, and what it is, it is a bitter dipping sauce for the meat. Um, consists of fish sauce, some um, badak, which is fermented fish sauce, well they're both fermented, but um, some MSG, which is optional, uh, crushed peppers, toasted rice, tamarind, and the bile, which is the, what is it, babe? From the gallbladder. It's from the gallbladder of a cow. <laughs> and which is all optional, which is very optional. I personally don't prefer it, but this is something that my husband likes. Um, and cilantro and scallions. So first we are going to, let's see, put in a couple of spoon, actually we'll start off with one spoon of the crushed peppers. And about two spoonfuls of the toasted rice. One spoonful of the tamarind concentrate. About two spoonfuls of the badak. And I prefer Mike's badak. And I'm gonna open up a new bottle of my fish sauce. Gonna go in for about three, four spoonfuls of the fish sauce. A little bit of MSG. Some people like to add more. It's all optional. And 
and then throw in the bile. And now we're going to stir. The consistency that you want is a little thick. taste this. Well, I actually have my husband taste it because I'm not that big of a fan. Oh, wow. More fish sauce. Okay. More pepper too. All right. So we're going to add some more fish sauce. Can you give me another spoon? And some more pepper. Another spoonful of pepper then. Go ahead and mix it. Put this on the other spoon that I used. And he gives a thumbs up. So once this is complete, I'm going to go in and add some of the scallions and some cilantro. And we're going to go ahead and mix this all up. is what it looks like, the finished product. Let's go. We cut it in third so it's easier to manage on the grill. All right, take a look at the grill. Where you at? Right here. We got the coals pushed to one side because you want we want to do indirect heating. So it cooks a little slower and doesn't burn. You always want the fat cap up. As the fat is melting and rendering, it flows down onto the meat. Like the meat is crying, that's why, hence the name Tiger Cry. If it gets to our desired temperature, we'll go ahead and sear it and then uh, slice it up. See you later. We've got the sticky rice in the steaming pot. And um, we're gonna cook it for about 15, 20 minutes. All right, the brisket's done. Um, we are gonna let it sit for at least uh, 15 minutes before we cut into it. Um, we did have a small piece here that was done a little bit ahead of time. So we cut it up just to check and see how, how well it was done. All right guys, we're gonna cut into this brisket. Pretty good, Daddy. Not bad. That's Not more bad. like a medium well. I'm more a medium rare. And once we get here, I get medium, more red. guys all done we got papaya salad along with the sticky rice and the tiger cry with the JLB sauce thanks for watching please like and subscribe